well, good morning, good weekend morning, West Ham fans. It's another day, so we've been linked with another Brazilian. Yes, everybody, us on the West Ham Network. Hope you're safe from wherever you end here. Give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a subscribe. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. It's a freaking weekend. Hope you get a nice weekend planned. Um, right. So, obviously, it's the dawn of a new day. So, therefore, we naturally get linked to another Brazilian player. Naturally. So, let's talk about it. So, West Ham apparently... In for a key poem from Brazil now. Tim is desperate for some Brazilian players. Tropical Tim. Samba Steinton, I'm calling him. Samba Steinton. He is loving life in Brazil by the looks of it. And um, apparently West Ham are looking to hijack Nottingham Forest's bid for the Corinthians keeper, Carlos Miguel. Um, and apparently the decision is going to come down to Carlos himself. He's available to move on from Corinthians this summer. He has a release clause of around 4 million euros, which Nottingham Forest have already been working on signing the keeper and do apparently have a verbal agreement in place. However, they are facing a fight to bring him to the city ground with West Ham entering the fray, according to Brazilian journalist Bruno Andrade. Like Nottingham Forest, apparently West Ham have agreed the 4 million euro fee with Corinthians for the six foot eight shot stopper, six foot eight, big lad. And Ariola's not a bit, not, not how tall is Ariola? Ariola must be about six five, isn't he? I should have probably found this out beforehand. Alphonse. Ah, I should have done this before I started anyway. How tall is Alphonse? He's six or five. So he will tower over Alf- Alphonse Ariola and, uh, and Lucas Fabianski. Um, but uh, according to the article, according to Bruno Andrade, the choice of which Premier League club he is signing for now lies in the hands of the 25-year-old. Um, West Ham and Forrest will make their pitches to try and convince Miguel to sign on the dotted line. <laughs> He's made four, only four appearances uh, so far. In the Brazilian Serie A, it's just kicked off and he's kept two clean sheets. That's a 50% success rate. Now, obviously, we're looking at that third choice goalkeeper. Obviously, we know Joseph nang has gone. We know um, Jacob Knightbridge has gone. Heggy, I imagine, will probably go on loan. Nathan Trott, we've had a two-year deal. Um, that's been included. and that's So he probably might go on loan or maybe they sell him. Maybe they will sell him to bring in someone like... I mean, we were talking about where's Frodringham. We were talking about um, Asmir Bergovic completely. But a six foot eight keeper, big lad. There was talk of potentially maybe, maybe, you know, I was reading a report about maybe with Fabianski coming to the end of his contract next summer maybe bringing in someone who could learn the ropes and then take over as the number two goalkeeper. Maybe. I mean, the chances are he isn't going to get any football unless there's touch wood, any injuries, you know, you're thinking about it. We haven't got any European games this year. So it is the cup games. He may well be, you know, on the bench to the third choice goalkeeper. That's why I thought it was wise to maybe get a free transfer, so to speak of a British based veteran goalkeeper, very similar to what Man City do. But as I said, is the report from, from Bruno Andrade says that West Ham are interested and and it might be a it might be a, a, not a quid pro quo, but maybe, you know, we're looking at um Miguel with the advantage of maybe smoothing the path for Wesley, maybe. Obviously Wesley plays the Corinthians as well. And we've been highly linked with him. So it might be a, a twofer, a bog off job, so to speak. Um, we know Corinthians were a little bit in trouble. When we, obviously, when we spoke to Tim Vickery, if you haven't seen him, go and see the interview we did with Holly on, on Thursday. He would say our Corinthians sort of need the money, so to speak. So maybe Tim is looking at some bargains and maybe purchasing Miguel solves a, a problem, so to speak, in terms of third choice goalkeeper. Doesn't solve necessarily the homegrown quota, but then again, Maybe Ben Johnson might sign. Uh, he's obviously in, in talks uh, at the moment. 
and then it might sort of grease the palm maybe for Wesley. I don't know. But anyway, as always, we bring you the information. That makes 92 players, 92 players we've been linked with so far. We haven't even opened the transfer window yet. It's going to be plenty more. Anyway, have, have a good rest of the day. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. See you soon. Much love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>